everyone. So this week's episode was an idea that came from someone out there in my audience and it's a great question. What do I think of collagen and what is the difference between bone broth protein and collagen protein? The first question is, what do I think of collagen? And what I think is, it's awesome. It's something that I think everyone could benefit from by adding it to their regular routine. I consume it every day and I believe very strongly in what it can do for your body and healing. The second question is, what's the difference between bone broth protein and collagen protein? Again, such a great question. First, just so we're all clear, bone broth is made by boiling the bones themselves, inclusive of the bone marrow and the connective tissues like ligaments and tendons. Tons of nutrients are extracted from the bones and tissues, and the resulting liquid that comes from this process is what we know as bone broth. This can be consumed in liquid form all on its own or used as the base for soups. In order to get the powder that I like to use for my smoothies, they take the actual bone broth, dehydrate it, and it becomes a powder form. Here are the top four reasons that I love bone broth. One, it's highly nutritious and full of vitamins and amino acids, which are basically the building blocks of everything in our body. Two, it's wonderful for supporting joint health and all the connective tissues in and around the joints. Who doesn't need that? Three, it's a great source of protein for people trying to lose weight because it's very satiating but not terribly caloric. Yay! And four, most importantly, it helps reduce inflammation and heal the gut, specifically the intestinal lining, which is crucial for anyone dealing with leaky gut, which is basically everybody. We all have leaky gut, even if you don't know it. Okay, so what's in bone broth protein? Bone broth contains collagen, as well as a family of compounds like glucosamine, among other things that are way too sciencey for five minute Fridays. But the role of these compounds is to support the collagen in your body. Okay, so now you're wondering, if bone broth has collagen in it, why would I put bone broth protein in and collagen protein in my smoothie? Well, here's your answer. Bone broth protein is almost always made from chicken bones and therefore is only going to contain two types of collagen. However, there are five main types that come from four different sources, including chicken, beef, fish, and eggshell egg membrane. All of these collagen sources are different and they do slightly different things in the body. Type 1 is sourced from fish and primarily supports hair, nails, and skin. Type 2 is sourced from chicken and primarily supports the immune system, joint and cartilage health, and the gut lining. Type 3 is sourced from beef and primarily supports arterial walls and cardiovascular health. Type 5, or the Roman numeral V, is sourced from eggshells and primarily supports cell membrane strength. That's a tongue twister. And type 10, or the Roman numeral X, is also sourced from chicken and primarily supports bone formation. So coming full circle, why add both these powders? Well, most both bone broth protein is sourced from chicken bones and is therefore only going to have type 2 and type 10 collagens. So by adding the multi-collagen powder to my smoothie, in addition to the bone broth protein powder, I'm getting all five types of collagen. 30 to 40% of the protein in our body is made up of collagen, so it's super important. Obviously, we have all the exterior things like hair, nails, skin, and let's not forget that the skin is the largest organ in the body. But then we have all the vessels and the joints and the connective tissues and the entire gut lining. Making sure that we are properly nourishing all of these organ systems is vitally important. So if you're interested, click the link to download my gut healing smoothie recipe, which as you might have guessed, includes both bone broth protein and multi-collagen protein. So I hope that clears up any confusion, but if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to send me a message. And as always, thanks for watching.